So what do you think I'm gonna make? Huh? What do you think I'm gonna make? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston. Wishing you a blessed time, truly. Hope you're finding reasons to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. So this is what I'm making today. I'm making a stir-fry cauliflower, veggie stir-fry cauliflower. The only... Um, protein that's going to be in this that doesn't make it vegan is um, egg. I'm going to put three eggs in it towards the end and I'll show you that. And I have a video up already of a stir fry that I did before with the cauliflower using the cauliflower as the rice. Um, I'll put the link to that down below. Um, but for now, I'm going to take this step by step. The other one was a quicker video, but I feel like you know, I got requests when I posted the picture for this particular version of it. So um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna show you what I used. Everything's gonna be the same from the last time that I made it, except for one thing. I'm adding a zucchini. Um, so let's get started. First things first. I gotta cut up, wash, and process the cauliflower so let's get started on that so make sure when you're cooking any type of veggie no matter what the meal is that you um, wash it so once I cut off all these leaves and um, I'm going to make florets at first and then I'll show you what I'll do. So let me finish this up, get these into florets. And the florets are not that hard to do, especially for what I'm doing with it. I'm just going to clean that off a little bit. Just get a colander. This is how I feel like it's the easiest to... Okay, I got the cauliflower all washed up. So now, we're gonna put it, if you have a food processor, use the food processor. Um, I don't, so I gotta do, make, do it in batches in the, my blender. And you're just gonna pulse it like two or three times because you're trying to make it a rice consistency. So, I'm gonna get it in there the best we can. So just gonna pulse it. And if you look, it's you know, it looks a little bit more like popcorn than rice, but it's supposed to be a small you don't want it any smaller than that or else it's just gonna come out mushy. So let me finish that put and put that aside and I'll show you everything else. And another thing, another thing you can do is, if you don't have a blender or a food processor, you can just take the chunks and cut them as small as you can. You want them to be like this, they, you know, kind of like small popcorn kernel size, you know, or what you would consider the size of um, rice. I mean, I got some crumbs here to give you an idea, but, you know. So you can cut it up, it's just obviously the food processor, the blender makes it a little more faster and easier. So again, let me get to the next step and I'll show you. Alright, so that's all together, or, you know, processed. <laughs> and now I will show you, and the thing with the cauliflower, if you're only making it for a short amount, for a small amount of people, you don't have to do the full head of cauliflower, you could do half, because, I mean, this was a, I would say, a small to medium, and that's still, that's a lot of 
like rice. I mean, you can save some for another meal if you're trying to do the low carb thing. Um, but yeah, if you're just trying to do it for yourself or whatever, you can cut it in half or even quarter. Um, unless you're trying to do like food prep, then do as much as you want. But you also have to remember, whatever you're putting in the pan has to fit in the pan to cook too. Because I've made this and overflowed the pan. So let me show you what else I'm using. I'm just using a couple of extra things. Um, veggie wise, I'm going to use fresh broccoli. I'm going to use red and green bell pepper, shredded carrot, I just find it, you know, easier, um, snap peas, this, you know, this was what I used in the last one, this time I'm putting in a zucchini, and I'm going to throw in some watercress, um, just to have something extra healthy in it, because i seen a, a clip on Dr. Oz, not a sponsor, um, that watercress is supposed to be um, even more, you know, even a bigger superfood than kale or spinach. So it's just a small leaf. Here, let me show you. If you've never seen it, because I've personally never seen it up close, because I never really looked for it. But this is what it looks like. Get it in the light. So that's watercress. Um, and I guess you can use that in salads and stuff. I'm going to throw that in towards the end of um, what I'm making right now. I'm also going to use uh, minced ginger, garlic, soy sauce, um, my mother blowing her nose. <laughs> no. Um, I'm going to use soy sauce, rice vinegar, possibly a little bit of sesame oil. Um, but to cook, I'm actually going to use olive oil. Just until the end, I might throw in the sesame oil for a little extra flavor. So, let me cut up what I'm going to use. I'll show you everything prepared before I throw it in the pan. And we'll go from there. Yeah, it's coming. What's going into this? All the veggies are cut up and now we're ready to cook. I'm using a big old pan. I'm going to put this on a medium high heat. Get pans heat up. Time for the oil. We will start with the pepper. And the snap peas. Okay. 
And as you go, you can add in a little black pepper or whatever pepper you want to use. And a little salt. And if you feel like the oil is dissipating before you're done cooking, you can add little by little. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it to be over greasy. Now we're going to add in the broccoli. Add in a little more oil. Just a drizzle. Now we're going to add the zucchini. Then add in the shredded carrots. And now the cauliflower. And the good thing about using the shredded carrots in the cauliflower this way is that it cuts down on the cooking time. Add a little more cauliflower. And if you see, I still got like a quarter cup, a quarter bowl left. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the rest of it. Because this was a smaller cauliflower. And now I'll add in the garlic and ginger. See what I mean about overflowing the pan? <laughs> so now I'm going to add a lightly scrambled three eggs, three large eggs, lightly scrambled. I'm going to add that and mix it all together. <coughs> And when you, when you put the egg in, you gotta keep stirring it until it, it's cooked so it doesn't just stay in one spot. Now I'm gonna put in some light soy sauce. No measurement, I just put it in until I feel like I put enough. I wanna say it's about two or three tablespoons. rice vinegar and do the rice vinegar very lightly because it can overpower so just a little drizzle and the same thing with you don't have to do the sesame oil but I'm putting it just for a little added flavor again just a really small amount and one extra liquid that I put is a little bit of orange juice, like a tablespoon or two. Here you go. I'm going to add in the watercress now. And remember, when it comes to stir fry, really you can put anything you want in it. Any veggie, you know, any protein. You know, you can even do it um, vegan. Like, the only thing that doesn't make this vegan, I believe, is the egg. But, you know, it's low carb because I'm using the cauliflower as the rice. And the final thing I'm putting on it, in it, is scallions or green onion, whichever one you want to call it. And I'm 
This is one of the reasons I didn't put any white onion in. That I, you know, I know people, I know that's a typical thing when you're using peppers. You know, on most meals like this, you put in white, you know, a diced up onion, but when it comes to like Asian style dishes, I tend to heavily go towards that, uh, to the green onion. And at this point, it's just to your tenderness, if you, you know, taste test and see if the veggies are as tender or as soft as you want them, then it's pretty much done. So now I'm just going to cover it, leave it for about 5-10 minutes, turn the heat down a little bit. You ready? And one last thing, a little red pepper. We don't like it too spicy, but a little bit of kick does help the overall flavor. So. And now, now time to eat. And now time to eat. Can you see the steam? And now time to eat. Although I might want to cool it off a little bit. So I'm not going to do any reviews, but this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I put in everything that you need. Uh, if I did, if you, get, if you make it, send me a picture of it. I'd love to see, you know, or a video clip of you making it and tell me how it came, came out for you. Again, you can use any veggies you want. But I got a few requests for this. Although I already had a stir fry vi video. Excuse me. Although I already had a stir stir fry video, um, someone you know people requested me to do the one that I made last week. So now I have two. I'll put the link for the first one down below. I mean, it's not much different. You know, I used different, um, slightly different veg vegetables. You'll see it. But uh, again, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I do put videos up every night. Um, I put them up kind of late because I'm usually working, but um, I try to get up up by you know by eight or ten o'clock if possible. Um, anyway, thank you once again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. As always, like, love, share, and inspire. Don't forget, love is everything. Much love. Peace.